Hi guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a bins haul, and I gotta say, this is like a boho lover's dream haul. There are so many great like pieces from Free People, so many great new bolo brands that I'll for sure be keeping my eyes out for. I can't wait to share them with you. But I think I've got 35 pieces, so it's a decent size haul. The, the vibes at the bins were great this week. Like, if you've ever been to the bins on a day where the vibes are not great, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But like, everybody was happy and cheerful. The sun was finally out. Yeah, at least for now in California, so we're all feeling a little bit better, but a great haul of that I can't wait to share with you. But before we get started, if you are new here, first and foremost, uh, welcome. Welcome aboard. I am Julia. That is my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If that sounds like something that you are into, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. We're building this great community of fellow thrifters and resellers and vintage lovers, and uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. But without further ado, guys, I've got lots of stuff to show you. Cannot wait to show you some of these pieces. So go grab yourself a snack, go grab yourself a drink. You know I've got my matcha. Sit back, relax, and let's get into the goods. So let's get started with the boho finds. First up, we've got this cute little chunky sweater from Free People. This is size large, but this is a nice little cable knit sweater. This is kind of like a like a light mustard yellow. Um, it's nice chunky. It's like a cotton blend. It's got kind of like a waffly knit sleeve there. Waffle knit on the back with a raw hem. Fabulous condition. And this is something I'll probably get like 30 to 36 on somewhere around there. That's about what I get for chunkier pieces from Free People. Great little find. I do love finding chunky sweaters from Free People and I don't find them too often. Next up, this is a vintage Free People piece. I think this is vintage. Uh, take a look at this label and y'all tell me if you know. I'm pretty sure that this is an older label there. Can you see that? So this is a, just a cute little camisole. These kind of like vintage style camisoles are selling really well for me right now. Kind of one of the things that I'm seeing trending a little bit. Oh my god, these I'm like, why are these straps so long? But they are adjustable. Uh, one of the things I'm seeing trending in fashion is this kind of like rock and roll, like glam rock kind of look where you have something like this under like a leather jacket. I think that's starting to kind of come up a little bit from the underground and that makes sense because anything that I've had like this has been selling really quickly. This has a beautiful like little lace top here and this is like a cotton I guess kind of rayon blend. This is a size medium, great size, adjustable straps of course these straps are grow grain. I'll probably get something around $20 for this. They don't go for that much but they will sell generally pretty quick especially like vintage pieces and I know some people don't do great with vintage pieces, but I do for whatever reason. You know, vintage pieces are just rare. This is, you know, free people can be a little bit saturated if you're dealing, especially if you're dealing in like free people basics. You know, something like this is not gonna be saturated just by the nature of its age, you know? And this is a little kind of delicate piece, so I'm sure not many pieces like that have survived the years. Next up, I thought this was so cute, and I'm still trying to figure out the new versus the old tag. I'm pretty sure this is the new tag. Uh, this is Abercrombie and Fitch, which is having, you know, a renaissance. It was everything back in the early 2000s, and then it was like a social pariah <laughs> for a long time, for about 20 years, and they've since come back. And I gotta say, like, you know me, like, I am, I am a quality person, right? The pieces that I have found coming out of Abercrombie and Fitch recently are unbelievable. Like their jeans are so nice. They use really high quality denim. The build quality is great. The fit is great. Uh, I don't know many people who have tried Abercrombie and Fitch jeans recently that haven't loved them and they're getting like the kind of response that like good American gets. But they don't have like the stretch to fit everybody kind of thing that good American has. So if you are in the market for new jeans or whatever, give these guys a try. Uh, but this is what I grabbed here, and it's this really pretty midi dress, and it's got a slit up the leg, really pretty kind of like celadon green color with this like organic dot, and a little puff sleeve with ruffle on the end and a smocked back. This is a size small, and this is in like new condition. This was probably close to $100, maybe a little bit over $100 new, so probably 
somewhere in the vicinity of like 30 to 40 dollars on this that's about what i'm seeing sold comps at very cute next up here another free people piece this one's kind of interesting this is a knit tank this is a size large and it's a we the free it's one of those kind of metal badge we the free pieces and it's this like very drapey like knit oh this is inside out very drapey knit racer back tank like this is definitely a layering piece and it's got like it feels like can you see that drape like it's got weight to it like this is a kind of a heavier fabric and i love the little kind of godet detail on the side there but anyway so it's a nice oversized racer back top like literally almost razor back i think that's what you would call a razor back it's in fantastic condition it is gray and then the trim is like a darker gray never seen anything like this before i'm probably twenty dollars on this this will be a great you know kind of like layering piece come summertime just definitely was not going to leave this one behind because this knit is just so different i really like that next up i grabbed another there was another like pile of ties that i kind of dipped through um actually one of you just bought the vintage ysl tie that i had i hope uh i hope you love it i hope your husband loves it but i found another vintage ysl tie i think this one is a little bit newer than the last one i believe that tag is a little bit newer i think the last one was probably from the 70s or 80s i think this might be 90s before the ties got really wide this could also be modern i'm not quite sure i need to do a little bit more I, do, I need to do a little bit more research on it but it is silk it's beautiful it's navy blue it's got some nice like red and white details so a very like classic tie somewhere between 15 and 30 bucks on this i have no idea we'll find out <laughs> but they you know those are like a great you know the the person who bought the last one that i had she said you know her husband has to wear a tie every day for work which um, I'm very sorry that he has to do that. That cannot be comfortable. Uh, you know, ring around the collar I thought was a thing of the past, but uh, if they do have to wear a tie every day for work, at least it can be one with a little bit of panache, you know? Without going like the keyboard tie route, like that, never. That should never happen. Next up, now this was such an interesting thing that I grabbed I just, I didn't know what it was. I still don't know what it is. I, there's no RN number on it, but like when I picked it up, it felt so nice. And like the embroidery on it is just stunning. So this is gonna be incredibly hard to show. So this is kind of like a wrap, right? So this would kind of sit around, you know, I'll just put it on. So it would sit around your shoulders and then it's got like little armholes that you kind of wear. And then it's got like, you know it just kind of drapes like that it's really different and it is wool and cashmere i have no clue who made this i have no idea where it was made i may give this to one of my neighbors this just kind of reminds me of something that she would rock i think it's so beautiful and again like it is really well made so i've i wish i knew where this was from i'm gonna try to like leverage the google lens see if i can find anything about this i've literally i've never seen a wrap like this in my life but it's gray on the inside, black on the outside with this stunning floral, and I think there's butterflies on here, floral and butterfly embroidery all the way down. Isn't that cool? It's just so different. I've like, I have no idea how I'm gonna price this. I, like, I just, I wish I knew more. So TBD, like, if I have this listed by the time I get this video up, which, I promise nothing. Um, I'll try to I'll try to link it on here, especially if I found a little bit more information. Like I said, I still might gift this to my neighbor though, so I um, we'll see. But I like isn't this stunning for a dollar woolen cashmere? And it's like heavy. Like this would be quite warm. Next up here we have another free people piece. I was not kidding, guys. There is there is a lot of free people <laughs> this week, so just brace yourself. This is a we the free, another we the free piece. And it's just one of those nice, like, cotton kind of like, I don't want to say chunky knit, but it's a little bit more of a rougher knit jersey, a little bit more of a looser knit jersey with a nice kind of chunky cuff like this. This isn't necessarily the cuffs that everybody's looking for. That would be like, you know, they're usually about half the height. So like where that seam is, the, the cuff would come up there. But still, people love these Henleys. You know, they're just a perfect throw-on, 
you know, casual day thing, but it's like, it's got special notes to it, right? Like it's not just a plain white tee or a plain black tee. Like it's got this textured fabric on the shoulders, on the placket here, it's got these studs. These aren't buttons, these are studs. Very cool. And I think this is a size, oh, it's a size medium in fabulous condition. So I'll probably get somewhere between like 28 and 32 on this, maybe a little bit lower, but a very cool find. And I think that this one will sell pretty quickly. It's just uh, very much like the kind of piece that a lot of people are looking for from free people. Next up, now this is a brand for sure to be on the lookout for. This is Hope Hippie. And there's the label that you're looking for. This is a very expensive brand. This is a size medium is it size medium size medium 100 percent silk just vivid red blouse it's got these like roll tab cuffs so it's or, like roll tab arms here so you can wear it rolled up or down and then it's got this faux like wrap front you can like the definition isn't going to show up that well i think on camera but you can see like right here is a faux wrap and just beautiful and i think this is this is showing a lot more orange on camera than it is this is like a beautiful like candy apple red in real life. So Haute Hippie sells, this was probably a three or four hundred dollar blouse, uh, new. Very, very, very expensive. But of course, like the construction is beautiful. I mean, you, know, you can always tell in the details, like how the cuff is finished. Like it's got like a little extra body in there to keep it like laying how it's supposed to. It's, you know, it's just beautifully done. So I'm not quite sure I have not found much of this. I know there's a lot of people who kind of stumble into caches of this from time to time that, you know, that do really well with it. But I've, I have not found many pieces. So somewhere between 30 and 50, I have no idea, but somewhere in that range, just gorgeous. And guys, keep your eyes out for that label for sure. It is something that people search for by name. Next up, I've got another free people piece. I, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, there was a lot of it. I just thought this was so cool. So on the front, this looks like a little kind of casual sweatshirt situation, but bam, on the back, <laughs> this is denim with embroidery. Isn't that cool? And the sleeves are also denim, so they have this kind of like harder edge to it. There's a little bit of like, it looks like almost like bleach damage here, but I kind of don't mind it. It kind of fits with the shirt, honestly, because it has this like weathered look to it, right? And I haven't seen any other pieces with this light denim. I have seen comps with the dark denim. I think this is a lot cuter. I think that the colors are better. I think that they're a little bit more like right now than the dark denim. I'm not quite sure what I'll get with this. With the, with the bleach damage, maybe like $20 on this. If it was in perfect condition, I'd say probably 25 to 35. But just being realistic, what size is this? It is a size small. Otherwise fabulous condition though, very cute. I just think that's so cute, it's so different. I love this. Next up here, now this is something, this is a new brand that I've never really like heard of before. Uh, interested to hear if anybody else has. This is Alala. And this is a pretty high-end, uh, predominantly like sportswear, athletic, athletic wear, athleisure brand. This fabric is so nice. It's super soft and super stretchy. Kind of gives me like, if you were to take the Viore Dream Knit or whatever that's called, that like level of softness, but give it like more drape, more rayon weight and drape, uh, that's kind of where you are with this. Just to kind of like give you an idea of what uh, this feels like, it's beautiful. So long sleeve, just black crew neck, and then on the back, it's this mesh. Kind of see like my hands through it so it's a mesh all on the back so this would be something you throw on after a workout over a sports bra over a tank top this is a size small i believe yeah it's a size small and this this retails like there are shirts like this retail north of a hundred dollars so 100 to like 120. i'm seeing sold comps anywhere between like 20 and 50 dollars i'm gonna bank probably like 25 to 30 on this but for sure, it's a brand to be on the lookout for. Have any of you found this before? I'm interested. I've never heard of this before. Like, I found this. So let me know if you have found it, if you've sold it, if you have it, if you love it. Uh, let us all know. But always down for a new brand to keep my eyes out for because it does look like it sells through pretty well.
Next up, yet another free people piece. Um, sorry guys, this is another We the Free with that little metal badge there. This is just a little oversized thermal kind of tunic. I'm trying to get this. So this is a size, this is a size medium and it's pretty enormous. So it's got kind of a, like, believe it or not, the neck is a little bit higher in the front than it is in the back. It's got this little kind of strap that goes across the back to kind of keep it on your shoulders. It's got, you know, long sleeves. It's this kind of like light yellowish brown waffle knit, uh, kind of a handkerchief hem there at the bottom. Somewhere 25 to $35 on this. It's very cute. And these kind of like oversized casual pieces move pretty quickly for me as well. Um, this is about as basic as I would go from free people. You know, I'm never going to pick up like the plain white tanks or anything like that. But something like this, you know, that still has like interest to it, still has things that I can like keyword, handkerchief, hem, oversize, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's really what you're looking for because otherwise your listings are just not going to get to the top of a search, right? Like they need to be, they need to have something about them that people would search for, if that makes sense. So this is about as basic as I go for free people. Next up, this is a great little bread and butter piece. This is Pure Jill by J Jill which is their like tensile, like luxe tensile line. It's super soft. It's got a beautiful drape to it. It's this gorgeous like aubergine color with a funnel neck with a little drawstring up at the top of the funnel neck. Seam down the front, it's long lines, so this would go great over leggings. This is in perfect condition and this stuff is so soft. It's a size medium, so a great size. I'll probably get around $25 for this. That's about what I've been getting for these kind of pure Jill, pure Jill pieces. Really, really, really a great find. And if you personally are looking for some kind of loungewear pieces, these are great. And they retail pretty high. I want to say that these are close to $100 new if you're going to buy in store. So definitely check them out because J Jill, you know, doesn't sell for a crazy amount of money. It sells quick, but it doesn't sell for a crazy amount of money. And the quality is gorgeous. So... I love picking them up. And this color is just so pretty. Next up, another great athleisure piece here. This is a nice hoodie from Athleta in kind of a fuzzy peach color. It's a nice, like, generous size. This is a size large. It's got a V-neck. It is missing the drawstring, which is a bit of a bummer, but I know that there's a lot of people that just pull them out. They hate them. You know, so I'll just have to disclose that on the listing. This is something that I'll probably get between $25 and $30 on. Maybe on the lower end of that because of the drawstring missing, but it's really nice. I love finding Athleta stuff. It does move really quick for me. Look at the detail there on the bottom. Do you see how that, do you see how that is like stitched into the bottom hem? I love that. Super soft. This is, a, I believe, 100% cotton. Yeah, 98% cotton, and it is called the Sundown Alliance Hoodie, in case you want to search it on your own. Very cute. Next up, I got the most incredible pair of pants from Ralph Lauren. And by the way, it is Ralph Lauren, not Ralph Lauren, as I have been calling him my whole life. I just recently learned this. Uh, sharing that information with you. So here we are. But these are Ralph Lauren black labels. So in the world of Ralph Lauren, there are multiple brands. So we've talked about Denim and Supply, which is a defunct brand. I always pick it up as long as the price is right. That is something that people really search out and, you know, people love it. But in terms of like actively made, and this I don't think black label is still in existence, but You've got Lauren Ralph La Lauren, see I almost said it, Lauren Ralph Lauren is kind of the bottom of the barrel. Quality is still really nice, but it's not going to resell for much. So not something that I would pick up unless it's something really special and I'm getting it at the bins, right? The quality is still there. One step up from that, you have Polo Ralph Lauren. And inside Polo, there's like a million different like sub brands. I think you've got like a rugby line and this, that, and the other, but Polo is kind of the one step up and that's your like core department store brand, right? So the quality is great. People know it. It's very recognizable. If you know, if you can find some of the vintage Polos, people really seek them out, but Polo is just a solid brand. Like if you're looking for some good bread and butter, if you're looking for some great pieces for yourself, Polo is just a great spot. You're going to get some good stuff at some good prices. You know, that's really kind of a sweet spot, the mass, the mass market sweet spot. One up from there, you've got Double RL, which is 
higher end, but definitely a Western style. It is something that, you know, there are a lot of people that say that Double RL takes a little bit longer to sell, and it will because it's niche, right? It's a definitively like Western style clothing, but it will sell still pretty quick and for a very good price because people do seek it out. In between Double RL and Purple Label, which I will get to in a second, was Black Label. So I'll skip to Purple Label right now. So Purple Label is like their highest level off the rack brand. So you're looking at about $1,000 for a pair of pants, $1,000 for these, right? And then above that you have like Ralph Lauren collection and you're in the couture world. You're in the ready to wear couture where you're in the multiple thousands of dollars per garment. So purple label is like what you will go to like Neiman Marcus and be able to buy off the rack, right? Black label was in between purple label and double RL. So still very high end. These were probably like a $500 pair of pants, maybe a little bit more. They're wool, uh, they're wide leg, they're cream, they're crisp. They, I mean, these are just gorgeous. They're size 10, fully lined in silk, beautiful pair of pants. I have never gotten my hands on a black label piece. So this is very exciting for me. And I love that they're just crisp white pants. Again, this is something that I'll photograph and then I'll take them off to the uh, dry cleaner so that whoever buys this will get a, you know, a freshly, you know, dry cleaner pleat on the front of this. Beautiful pair of pants, just stunning. And I mean, like, I wish you could feel these because like, you cannot deny the quality. Like this fabric is beautiful. It's got a gorgeous drape to it. Like even just hanging here, like this has been kind of stuffed in a bag. Like even just hanging here, you can see it starting to like smooth itself out. I'll probably get somewhere close to $100 for these. Again, these were $500 pants without batting an eye, if not six or $700 with the, with the, with like the quality of fabrics. Like this has, like B Black Label was known as using like less fine fabrics than the Purple Label, but these are Purple Label level fabrics. This is wool and silk, like there's, there's no baff on this, right? So I think I'll get about $100, like I said, I will get this a nice crisp dry clean, but what a find, what a find. Next up, this is another brand that I love to find, and this is, I believe, a men's shirt, but this is Vince. And Vince is a brand you'll find at, like, Saks Fifth Avenue, super high-end, like, basics line. Their sweaters sell super fast. This kind of stuff will probably move pretty quickly. This is a size medium, 100% cotton, like, slub cotton, bias cut, heather gray shirt here. I'll probably get somewhere between 35 and 25 and 35 on this, maybe a little bit more. Uh, Vince is very expensive. This was probably well over $100 when it was bought new. The sweaters go three or $400, so just to give you an idea of like price range, but for sure keep your eyes out for this brand. Most of their sweaters are kind of in that cashmere world, so just make sure you're looking for like moth holes on those. That's that's what seems to be the most insidious when you are dealing with bins locations and thrift stores. You know, they, they, they're not actively piling cedar all over the cashmere that they have in store. Next up, this is such a cute dress. This is from Maeve, which is an anthropology brand. It's a size medium. And I, I just think this is so cute. This is like a little black and white spotted. This is a tiered dress. There's a name for this and I have it in my spreadsheet and I can't remember it, but this is kind of like a signature piece for them. They do this in a lot of different colors and a lot of different patterns. And it's something that people really seek out. I think this went for about $128 new, like on site. And I think that they still make them and they're reselling, like depending on the colors, I've seen some reselling in like sold comps in the $80 range, which of course I'm never gonna bank on. I'm gonna bank on probably 30 or 40 for this, uh, but I'll do a little bit more research and see like if this pattern, for example, is like in high demand. But this was a great find and it is a really, really cute dress and in perfect condition. You really can't see the tears because of the busyness of this pattern, but it's very cute. Next up, now this felt really nice, so I grabbed it. And the brand on this is The Lady and the Sailor, which turns out is a little boutique in Laguna Beach. If you are not familiar with Laguna Beach, Laguna Beach is just like a very wealthy town. Of course, if you are 
Uh, somebody about my age, you probably are aware of it from the MTV show back in the day, but you know, this just felt really nice, so I grabbed it. I didn't even comp it in store, but the Lady and the Sailor is a very expensive little store. I think their things might be like handmade. They're all locally made. Yeah, crafted in the USA. This is a size one, so it's a size small. And it's just this pretty cream lace top, and then the sides are all tie. You kind of see that? I think you can see that detail there. Very cute. Something to throw on over a bathing suit, something to throw on, you know, just like for a cute brunch. This probably retailed for like $180. You know, it's very expensive. But I'll probably get around 30 maybe a little more maybe a little bit less on this but i'm interested to see how this does i don't think that this is i would say that this is a bolo brand because like i'm looking at the i'm looking at the prices on their website and they're very expensive but i don't know if they're sold elsewhere other than that one boutique so uh, keep your eyes out if anybody else has found one of these let me know i'm very interested i'm always interested to see how far these pieces go especially if it's something that like only sold in like one boutique Next up, I love this little shirt. This is from TLA, and this is an anthropology brand. I like, this is just like a little boxy polo shirt. It's like this kind of nubby, like black and white stripe. I, I mean, like this just feels so cozy. I don't know if you can get your eyes on that texture there, but this is in perfect condition. This is a size medium. I'll probably get 24. 20, probably 28 to 32 on this it's uh it's very very cute and it's just like a perfect casual top and again the the fabric is so nice 100% cotton for sure definitely a brand to be on the lookout for I, this was one like I didn't really know that this was an anthropology brand until I grabbed it like I grabbed it and I'm like this feels really nice and uh when I looked it up sure enough sure enough and they do it looks like they do these kind of like basic pieces so great brand great cute little top Next up, no, I could not leave these behind. Like, on good conscience, you cannot leave a pair of sequin shorts like this behind. Look at those sequins. Look at how, first of all, these are brand new with tags. Look at how these are like stacked. Do you see that? Like, they're overlapped. This is like over sequined, and I love the colors. It's kind of like an iridescent blue green. This might be going to my friend if they fit her, because. <laughs> Again, I, I've talked about her before. She's a living, breathing sequin. So if she wants them, they're hers and they fit, they're hers. But otherwise, they're brand new with tags. They're from Nordstrom. The brand is Glamorous, which I've never heard of before. But this is 100% something that will sell under that, like, festival, Burning Man, like, one of those kind of tags will move this. Club, party clothes, whatever. They are shorts. So cute. And again, perfect condition. Very, very cool. Size small. I have no clue what these will go for if I do end up selling them. Not a clue. 40 bucks? Maybe? I think I think that they'll fetch a higher price just because of the style. They were originally like 118, but um, you know, who knows, but so cool, aren't they? Next up. Now, this is a brand I've seen a lot of and I never really picked it up. And I'm still struggling to find any information. I know that it's out there. I don't know if this is like a TJ Maxx brand or a Macy's brand or whatever. And that's for Cynthia. And this is basically me asking you to tell me. <laughs> what do you know about for Cynthia? I grabbed this. Like most of the stuff that I found has felt, has felt, you know, like okay quality. But this is a beautiful linen shirt. And I love the lace detail all around the collar. Do you see that? That's so pretty. It's a pretty like bright coral color, peasant sleeves. It's a size XL. This just has a lot of stuff going for it that I think will, you know, get it to move quickly and for a decent price, even if it's a brand that doesn't typically go for that much. Sold comps are kind of all over the place for it. And what people are asking for is all over the place. So this is a trial for me for sure. But if you guys know anything about for Cynthia, like let me know. I want to know. And I'm struggling to find any information about it on the internet which is kind of crazy really pretty top though just so so pretty next up now this is a new bolo brand for me this is and i grabbed this because the fabric felt really really nice you know sometimes you get like you can just feel the difference between a quality white shirt and non qual like a low quality white shirt but i grabbed this because it felt really nice and the label on it was mistress rocks so sure enough, I get digging into it. It's like this cute little crop top. 
Isn't that adorable? Like crisp white, little deep V neck with a nice like elastic bottom. And again, like this feels really like nice quality. You know, like it's not uh, it's not cheap elastic, whatever. So it turns out this is a brand owned by House of CB. House of CB is a London-based designer. Really fascinating story about their founding. I think she founded the company when she was like 17 years old, which like mad respect. Like I, you know, starting a business at any age is hard. Starting a business at 17. But anyway, so House of CB, like their whole thing, their whole shtick was making these clothes, and still is making these clothes that give like hourglass figures. So they're really well known for their corsets. Uh, like a lot of their dresses incorporate corsets. It's very like figure flattering, figure hugging. And this is just like a sub brand from them. If you ever find them, they're so hot right now. Like they are one of the hotter brands in, you know, for girls in their 20s right now. They're great like party dresses, club dresses. I've had a few of them that I got and sold, you know, within two or three days for like $100. Quality on them is really nice. Like the build on these are really, really nice. They, they don't like, they're not like five or $600, but they are, you know, like something like this would probably be like $100. One of their dresses would probably be like 250 to 300, which is, yes, expensive. It is expensive, but the quality on them, like I've, I've held a thousand $300 dresses and they are amongst the better quality of any of the dresses that I've held in that price range is what I'm trying to say. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for something like this. I'm not quite sure what I'll get. Probably 35 to 45. I, I'm guessing on this. Um, I love this little style. I love that little crop. I think that's so cute. Um, and I think that this will move very quickly. Anything House of CB is just is just in demand right now. So keep your eyes out. If you've ever found one, like let me know what did you find? How fast did it sell? How much did you get for it? I, I always love hearing those stories. Such a cool brand. Keep your eyes out for it. Next up. Now this is a brand I don't pick up all that often, but as you can see, there's a lot of fringe and I am a big fan of weird and well-made. So this is Wild Fox. And Wild Fox is not a brand I pick up that much anymore. This used to be red hot. And their sweatshirts, you know, they've just kind of like, they're a little bit like out of style now, right? And they are usually made of this like super soft fleece that has a very smooth surface that if you are using like dry, like any kind of fabric softener, it pills. But this is not that fabric. This is a little bit of a more like a rougher kind of texture to it, but I love it. So there are these sweatpants, they are wide leg and they have fringe all the way down the side. Now, I can't remember the name of these. I do have it in my spreadsheet. I'll put it down on the screen down below. Uh, these, I've seen some sold comps in like the 50 to $75 range on these. These feel pretty much brand new. They're a size large. Aren't they kind of fun? Like, if you're gonna have a lounge day, at least have a lounge day and be fabulous, right? Like, who doesn't love a fringe pant moment? Anyway, excited I grabbed these. I mean, this was a total gut grab. I'm like, I know Wild Fox. Wild Fox is a very expensive brand. These were probably like $150 new. And then like their sweatshirts are like 95 to $110 new. The sweatshirts just don't sell for what they used to. This? I'm excited to see. Again, something that I think will go using that like festival, boho, you know, party, whatever. Interested to see. Very interested to see how these do. Next up here, now this is one of my favorite brands to find. I always sell it really quick. It's got hardcore devotees, but this is Eileen Fisher. This is a size large and this is stretch silk. Like I found, I felt this in the bins and I pulled it out because I'm like, that fabric feels divine, but like unlike anything I've ever felt before. It's 100% silk. I don't even understand how that works. Like, explain to me the biology of stretch silk. I don't, I don't know. But this is like a little, um, it's still kind of hard to show when they have these like dolman sleeves, but this is like a little lightweight blazer or a little cardigan with a drape front. You can kind of see this is definitely something that will make more sense on the cardigan. It's got like a little cascade front, perfect condition, probably somewhere 35 to 45. That's about what I get on these kind of like basic pieces, but this is just so cool. Like I stretch silk. 
Next up, this is a little Brandy Melville piece. Again, I don't pick up a ton of Brandy Melville. I do pick up certain pieces that I know will move pretty fast. This is just a cute little wrap dress in like a ditzy floral. I, anything I've had Brandy has been like moving a little bit faster. Now, you can never expect like <laughs> great sales numbers from Brandy Melville because they don't retail for all that much. I wanna say this would probably be like 75 bucks, maybe a little bit less. They're one of the less expensive brands at like Nordstrom, but something like this, these little wrap dresses, these little kind of like cottage core dresses, they go really fast for me. So probably about $25 on this. I'd say 25 to 30, but I, I think I'm going to land around 25 on that. But it is super cute. It's in great condition. It does need like a bath and a steam. It'll look a heck of a lot better. And it'll make a little bit more sense once I get it on the mannequin. Wrap dresses are just really hard to show. Next up, another little free people piece. This is just a cute little pair of gauze shorts. Size small. I'm pretty sure these are size small. Yeah, size small with this cute little like embellished waistband there so it's like a flat front with an elasticated back so it's nice and comfy and it's trimmed with lace this will look better once it's like steamed out and, and you know and washed and all that fully lined in kind of like a like a red orange color I don't know if that's showing right like I'm looking at the viewfinder and this looks like traffic cone orange and it's it's not traffic cone orange but very cute probably I don't know around $20 on these free people shorts surprisingly move very fast for me we are moving right along here, guys. Now this, I've never heard of this brand before. I think this is a boutique brand. I, I couldn't find much about it, but this is Luxelle. It's a boutique brand, I believe, but it's still a pretty spendy brand. And this dress is just so stinking cute. This gives me like, was it, uh, was it Versace? J-Lo's Versace dress, the famous dress, like that went all the way down. Uh, but it's got this, like it's chiffon, it's tiered. This is sheer, so this would be something that you would put over like a swimsuit, or you would just wear kind of like base layers underneath. But it's got like a little button front top, peasant sleeves in this nice like lightweight chiffon. It's got this nice like thick smocked middle. So what you'll do, what this'll do is this'll sit from like mid torso. So think like natural waist down to hip. And then the skirt will come out from hip and then the top will blouse over it. Again, something that will make a little bit more sense when I can get it onto a mannequin. This is a size medium. I'll probably get, again, this retailed for about, everything else that I'm seeing from Luxel is retailing around $150 to $175. Probably 30 to 40 on this. I just think this style, I think the style and the color and like the, the vibe of this will sell this dress more so than the brand, but so cute. Next up, another free people piece. This is a cute little dress. It's a size four. I rarely see a size four, like number sizes, but I just thought this was really cute. It's fit and flare. It's got these kind of deep pockets here that are kind of like part of the architecture of the dress, if that makes sense. V neck, and then on the back you have, I love this little detail, so you have these fabric covered buttons and then little like keyholes in between. Now yes, this precludes you from wearing a traditional bra. So anyway, very, very cute, little ladder stitch detail there, kind of belled out sleeves, fabulous condition. You know, probably, you know, again, somewhere 25 to $35 on this. Very, very cute. You know, every once in a blue moon I'll find a free people dress that's like, highly sought after and it always kind of surprises me which dresses that applies to. I don't know if this is one of them but I always, you know, we hold out hope every day. Super, super cute but even still, you know, 25 to $35 on a $1 cost, I'm happy. That's a great, that's a great return and this is a very cute little dress. Definitely one that I'll have to put on the mannequin because it's got a little high-low moment, it's got a lot of details that will show better like in shape. Next up, this is a cute little pair of Lululemon crops. So these are, I um, can't remember the name of this fabric. I will put it on the screen down below. But it's funny, like I felt these and I put them back down and I went back and I'm like, that fabric just feels nice. Like it feels nice, like let me see if I can find a logo. Cause there was no, uh, there was like no tag on the inside. And sure enough, I dug around and there it was down on the ankle. So this particular model is like kind of like a loose crop. 
and it's got this like kind of jogger style little notch on the side very very cute these resell now this is a size six i think i found the size dot these resell between like 40 and 50 dollars i feel like unless you're getting really core pieces like the groove pants or like the align the aligns or the align flares right now or like the scuba hoodies the resale for a lot of Lululemon pieces has come down. Maybe it's a little bit saturated. Stuff like this is kind of unique and people look for these kind of pieces by name. So their resale, the resale on these is pretty high. So I'm excited to have found these. I'm very happy that I like went back and looked. I, this happens to me all the time. Like, you know, I'll feel something and I'll like walk away because I'm not immediately seeing something that's like making and I'll go back to it. <laughs> and sure enough, they were there and I grabbed them. Next up, now this is something that I have zero clue what I will get for it, but this was a definitely a gut pull. So this is a beautiful skirt. It's this kind of like frosted gray wool. Pencil skirt, slit in the back. And it's got this kind of unique detail of like a button and a little bit of an asymmetric hem, a little, an asymmetric detail. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. When I looked at the tag, the name of the company is Yangani, but I saw Made in Japan. And like, you don't see a lot of stuff made in Japan anymore. It's just an expensive place to like have things made. And in general, the construction of anything made in Japan is gonna be top notch. Like they, they, are not, they are not going to pump out like cheap as possible quantity. Like I always go back to the Onitsuka Tigers, which I love and I've worn for years. Um, if you want to get like the Nippon made, they're like $100 more expensive and you can feel the difference in quality. So just beautiful. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to get on this. This is about a size six, very classic, uh, just wool, you know, wool pencil skirt. This is something that I'll probably have to sell because I don't think that this is a big name brand or anything. Uh, this is something that I'll have to sell on style alone. And I don't think that'll be a problem. I think this is very, very chic. I think that's so cool. And it'll definitely be a piece, like whoever picks this up, this will definitely be a piece that absolutely positively nobody else will have. Next up, I've got another pair of Lululemon pants and these are like a size double zero. Uh, but these are basically, I can't remember the name of these, but they're wide leg and they're that the same fabric as the men's ABC pants. So they have that nice stretch to them. They're a very trouser, like a trouser style, five pocket trouser. These are in really great condition. A tiny, like, little bit of chipping on the paint on the button, but that's it. Yeah, a little bit, you know, really where, like, it's going to impact in the washing machine or where, like, a belt will go over it. These, again, they're double zero, so they'll take a while to sell, but these will still go for, like, you know, somewhere 30 to $40. These kind of pants, especially if you can find them for men, like, Every guy I know that works in an office and has to wear business casual is wearing these. So there is a very, very hungry market for them right now. So keep your eyes out for them. Like, and when, once you get the feel for the fabric, you'll be able to feel it in a heartbeat when you're out thrifting or when you're in the bins. Like, it, it's a very distinctive feeling fabric. So at least, you know, even next time you're in the mall, um, you know, you can't guarantee you're going to find them in the, you know, in the, in the bins. But the next time you're in the mall, pop into a Lululemon store and get your hands on that fabric because very distinct. Next up, now this is an unbranded piece, but it is silk. And uh, I think it's so cute. This is a little like crop top. Again, something that'll sell for, with the boho festival kind of tags on it. So this is like a little tie front crop super cute in this beautiful paisley but look at these sleeves <laughs> i'm such a sucker for a bell sleeve i just thought this was so cute i have no and it, again it is i think it's like 80 percent silk so it's got a little something blended in there uh yeah 80 percent art silk whatever that means um 20 percent polyester made in india but i again i just think that this is something that'll sell just on style and i don't think this will sit long probably somewhere 30 to 35 dollars on this i can't with these sleeves this is just so beautiful such a cool piece and like again like absolutely no brand so we'll see we'll see how that does but it's something i'll for sure photograph on the mannequin to really give it like the best chance 
Next up, this is a cute pair of Zara pants. These are basically brand new with tags. These are also extra small. These are new tag Zara, and as you'll see, you have the little triangle, which tells you it's part of like the TRF, Trafalgar, whatever it is, line, which generally means that it's gonna fit a little bit smaller. But these cute little beach pants are like crinkle gauze. They're almost like, do you remember broomstick skirts? Do you remember like how broomstick skirts you would like store them all tied up so you would kind of stretch them out when you wore them? That's kind of got that vibe to it. Almost like a little bit of a pleece. Uh, but they're like a little bell-bottom cream, something you'll throw on over a bathing suit. Again, these are the kind of things that like when you think of resort wear, this is this and like a caftan is what you think of. So they're brand new with like the tag bar on it. So, you know, never worn for sure. Like you can feel that they are never worn. So great little find there. We are down to two pieces here and this one is a very cool vintage piece and I'm gonna have to do a little cleaning on this but man was I not leaving this behind. This is a sweater dress. <sighs> Look at this. Let, let me get you up close on that. Can you see the shimmer on that? I don't know. Oh there you go. So it's got this like lurex thread and it's this kind of pontel knit up on the top with a v-neck and a, a little keyhole back. This is floor length. Isn't this cool? I've never seen anything like this. So there's no tag in this, I don't think. I didn't see one while I was there. No tag. This is definitely, I think, 60s. It is floor length. And there's just like a little bit of yellowing down here, which I think will come out with like a good soak. I'm gonna have to, like I need, I have a couple things, a couple vintage pieces that I wanna clean and get a little yellowing out of. So I just need to like block a day to do a long soak in my bathtub because it just takes time. You know, that's, it's just like, let them soak, agitate them once an hour, you know, and then, then you have to hang them up to dry because you don't, certainly don't wanna apply any heat to these, but very cool. It is floor length. It's got a slit up the side here and the slit is trimmed on the inside with lace. I mean, it's just the little details. This is so interesting. I want to say this is probably a size roughly eight. I think this is like a size six or an eight, I think closer to an eight. And it's this like just mist, like a cloud blue. And then the Lorex here is gold. How cool is this? Again, just so different. One of the things that I love the most about vintage dresses, like anybody who buys this to wear it to a gala or an event, like, there is absolutely zero chance of, first of all, anybody having anything even close to a knit gown. Come on, nobody's gonna have anything even close to this. But it's a conversation starter. You know, like, somebody will see that and be like, what in the world is she wearing? It's so fabulous. Like, you know, it, it is, it's very cool. It just makes my heart so happy. I love being able to find pieces like this, especially, you know, in a bins location where like the next stop is being packed up and sent overseas like this makes me so happy i'll hopefully be able to you know get this cleaned up and again like it's not bad like it's really not in terrible condition down here just like a little bit of yellowing but hopefully get this cleaned up and back onto somebody's body for a fabulous gala so cool and i just i love the colors of it i'll pry i'm not quite sure what i'll ask for this I, I would anticipate getting 70 or 80 bucks for that, maybe a little bit more, because it is a gown. Um, and of course, that's going to be contingent on me being able to like get, you know, if I can get it to pristine condition, probably a little over $100. And finally, this was kind of a cool find. I've never found anything from this before, and this feels like it's in brand new condition. This is Daily Practice, which is an anthropology like activewear brand. And this is like a little sweater dress in this beautiful like fuchsia pink. It's got a snap placket here. These are kind of like gunmetal gray uh, with a tie belt waist and the tie belt is with it. You know, we all know, we all know how rare that is. So let's all like to the gods. Um, beautiful condition. This is a size medium. The sold comps on this were in the 40 to $50 range. So We'll see. You no, know, I never banked that high, so somewhere between $30 and $40. Super happy about this. Another great find. But that is it, guys. That was the haul for this week. Um, I don't know, what was your favorite piece? I think my favorite piece was the very, I mean, it's gotta be the vintage knit gown, because like, 
I've never even heard of those before. <laughs> like I've never seen anything like it. So uh, I always love finding something that just kind of like blows my mind. And that blew my mind a little bit. So for all the numbers nerds out there, there were 35 items, so I spent $35. And the retail value of everything was about $4,500, which just always blows my mind. But I think I've got about $1,000 sales there, and that'll bring me to about $800 profit. With a $35 investment, that brings my ROI to about 23x, which is pretty dang good if you ask me. But guys, thank you so much for hanging with me while I go through my hauls. Thank you for nerding out with me over these weird things that I'm finding. Like, it's just so exciting for me to have somebody to, like, share my joy <laughs> with. I just, like, it's so exciting for me to know that there are others out there that love the same stuff that I do. But guys... If you had fun, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, of course, uh, down below. It really helps me out. If you want to be notified anytime I upload something, hit the notification bell. But without further ado, guys, have the most incredible week. Happy hunting, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!